Hello, my name is Derrickson, the M. Derrickson Clickhouse Talk Show. I'm here at the Rudy Fest at the Palm Mountain Music Festival. The thing to us today is Friday, and brought to you by the M. Derrickson Productions, one of the finest media companies all around the world, Bluegrass. I am here with, uh, with special consensus, comfort from foreign artists, Greg Cable. Good to have you, Greg. Good to be here with and you, Evan. And celebrating 47 years. It's 47 years this year, and I'm feeling it now because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling kind of short today. Because <laughs> yeah. I am, yeah. Um, yeah, it's 47 years. I don't know how that happened, but it did. So I'm happy to still be there. And um, how, how, um, how do you like being back at Rudy? I mean, how do you like being here at Rudy Fest? Well, you know, this is great. We've wanted to come for a long time and schedule our thing just never seemed to work on this weekend. We're just so glad to finally be able to come to Rudy Fest. You know? So well known, and all of our friends come and play here. And it's just great. It's really happy to be here. And who's your members of the band tonight? Well, we have, uh, of course, Damon Eubanks, who's now, he was going to play with us for a little while. Uh, it's nine and a half years now playing bass. Yeah, yeah. He's just, he's the only bass player I know who plays those fiddle tunes in for me. Um, and then we have Greg Blake. Really glad to have him come into the band after Jeff Scraggins in Colorado kind of retired for a while. Um, we've been, Greg and I have been buds for a long time, but never in the same band. He's just such a fabulous singer and player, you know. And then our newest member is Michael Pruitt, and he's from Kentucky, and uh, just a fabulous player and singer. He's played with some bands all the way from Kentucky to North Dakota to Minneapolis, where we found him, and now we moved to the Nashville area. So, really happy. Excited about about being here, and picking. And with this 47 years of celebrating this year, yeah, I know everybody knows it's not your birthday, but, <laughs> Thank but, you. but um, but anyway, um, let's talk about your last single, uh, Blackbird. Oh, Blackbird. Yeah, you know, we uh, our last recording was called Chicago Barn Dance, and the, the, sort of the theme of that was that was for our. 45th anniversary, of course, in 2020, and uh, we weren't able to play that year, uh, and we released it during COVID, and then we didn't play in 2021 very much, so, uh, but the theme of that was uh, about the bar dance, which was in Chicago for, for many years, from the 20s up to the 60s, and uh, so there was a song that Allison Brown, our producer, and phenomenal banjo player, liked, and it's the one we recorded, it was Blackbird. But we needed stuff from Chicago at that time. But uh, so she brought it up again. This time we thought, oh, that's a great song. We, we all liked it. So um, that was, uh, we went in and spent a day in there, just just recorded it and uh, in the Compass Studio. And then Allison and I got together later to play the Twin Band for the and We've been doing that on each of our recordings in Compass. And uh, we just uh, were getting ready. We were working on a new recording um, that will be out in the early 2020. So that will obviously be on that recording. It was written by J.P. 28. Oh, wow. Yeah. Old J.P. 28. We all know him, but haven't seen him in a bunch of years. But he's still up there, and he was very happy with the recording. And, um, tell me, how did you guys start playing the band? Yeah. Well, I grew up, uh, the family was kind of musical, but had nothing to do with bluegrass music. My mom was a great piano player. And um, you know, a lot of our holidays were around the piano, people singing and playing. My granddad was a great harmonica player, so I learned how to play that when I was five or six. And then um, I, uh, my first real instrument uh, started when I was about six or seven years old, was the accordion. Um, and I did that for seven or eight years and learned how to read music. But then uh, after I got out of college, I, I heard the. Uh, that was a big folk rock in Chicago. All the big folk acts came through. And that got me into Pete Seeger and the long neck bands. I really like it, so I bought one of those and, and a 12 string guitar. And, and, then, um, and then, actually, I, I, I heard the Beverly Hillbillies and the Earl Scruggs and all the way around. I thought we were like, how many people are playing? So good. So, uh, but I didn't start really seriously playing the band until I was in the 20s. But I was eating up with it so much that I just couldn't put it down. You're performing at 1 o'clock tonight. I mean, today and at 5.30. That's 
That's right. We're the new guys. So we started yep. That's what happens when you guys are new. That's right. That's, right. That's, That's fine. We're just happy we're here. Yeah, we're, that's good. Well, it is a great place. But where can everybody can find you guys at? Well, you can find us at specialc.com on Facebook and uh, uh, Instagram. Michael and I are booking person, a great booking person. We're going to take care of the media stuff. I'm not really good at that, you know, but uh, we're there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Greg. Always great to see you and to speak with you. Thanks a million for having me. And cool. I hope everybody listens to the show. This is great. Yeah, on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, YouTube and Facebook. There you go. Thank you so much. I'm Ben Derrickson from the Ember's Cross Talk Show. Live and really fast at the Pop Mountain Music Festival. Brought to you by the Ember's Productions. You folks take care now and have a wonderful day.